Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me today. We are talking how to style your holiday party outfits. Stay tuned as there will be a lookbook as well showcasing many outfit ideas that I have. Whether it's a Christmas party or New Year's Eve, where to begin and what to do. Ground zero is the little black dress and although there is nothing wrong with the LBD, in my world I often feel like the LBD is the little black boring dress. And the only reason that I say that is the majority of the time when we go to any event where women get dressed up, cocktail party, something more informal, whatever it is, most women are going to be dressed all in black. Well, to me, that can be really boring. If you are comfortable wearing all black or wearing your little black dress, feel free to do so. I'm not saying I don't do it. I just say that you are going to blend in with many other people there. And if you're okay with that, you go for it. But ladies, don't be afraid of incorporating some color. And I think the holidays are a perfect time to do that with your deep burgundies, your greens, a royal blue, gold, silver. There are so many options to play with during the holidays. I love the rich tones of winter anyway. If you do decide to go with the LBD, the little black dress, or do something all black, I recommend that you look for something with detail and embellishments. Think about things like velvet, ruffles, even think off the shoulder or one shoulder or cold shoulder and embellishments like this. And just think you can save yourself on jewelry when you are adding in some detail such as what we have here on this ankled black cold shoulder top that you could jazz up with a pair of stunning faux black leather leggings. You will see when we get to the lookbook that I am wearing a beautiful black dress that anybody can wear at any age. Whether you are younger or older, you would be able to wear this classy chic very conservative black dress that I am wearing. The hemline hits perfectly for anybody that doesn't like to show a lot of leg. Although the dress is very simple, you will see in the lookbook that there is detail up around the neckline as well as the waistline. So look for something with extra detail if you are going to choose something in the black family. If you are not the dress type of girl, have no fear. There are many options. You know my love for jumpsuits. I think a jumpsuit would be a perfect alternative to wearing a dress to your holiday cocktail party. Jumpsuits to me are so uber chic, but the other thing that I think is so chic and gorgeous is wearing a black blazer such as the one that I am wearing here, pairing it with a very simple camisole as I did, or you could go with a lace camisole or a ruffled camisole or a sequin camisole, whatever you want to do to jazz it up. I decided to wear this simple black blazer with just a basic black cami, faux leather leggings, beautiful striking earrings that really add some pop, and I love this necklace from Bobble Bar that I think add just the right detail to jazz up this whole entire look. Pair it with a blingy bag and you are good to go. This is also when you could incorporate some velvet. I have a velvet blazer here. This would look remarkable as well. I would also say if you are younger, and you are more flat chested, you could even wear something like this with nothing underneath, keep it closed, have that plunging neckline, and then wear a nice long necklace like the one that I am wearing here. Again, it would have to be age appropriate and you would definitely have to be pretty much flat chested to pull that off, but I think that look is so chic, so classy, and I think it is in very good taste if you can pull it off. If your budget does not allow for you to purchase new items this year, I am sure that you can resource something from your own closet that can be perfect for a holiday cocktail party. Again, don't think dresses, think jumpsuit. You can do something with leggings. You can do something with black tuxedo pants. There's so many ways that you can jazz up simple pieces by adding in other details. Let's go over some tips. If you are wearing a dress or a skirt that has a high hemline, meaning it hits high on the leg, then you don't want to show cleavage. On the other hand, if you are showing 
showing a little bit of cleavage or a lot of cleavage, whatever it is, you want to go longer on the hemline. You don't want to go short hemline and show cleavage at the same time. Pick one thing to add in that sex appeal. Also be careful with your bodycon dresses. You don't want to wear bodycon, show cleavage, and then have a short hemline. Unless, of course, that is what you are trying to throw out there. But my tip is just don't do it. Pick one thing. You don't want to throw everything in his face or their face when you are at a holiday cocktail party. Pick one thing to show a little skin, keep it classy, keep it tasteful, but only pick one thing. Always remember that men prefer room for the imagination. They like to see a little bit and you can let their mind wander on the rest. When you are choosing your holiday party outfit, think about the vibe you want to portray. What is the perception that I want of others to have on me? What type of impact do I want to make? Do I want a positive impact or do I want a negative impact? Keep it classy, show just the right amount of skin and you will be just fine. Another tip that I have, read the invitation. Pay attention to the details in what it says. If the invitation says dressy, that doesn't mean you have to wear a dress. Again, a jumpsuit is fine and the outfit that I am wearing here where I have full black leather leggings, a simple cami, and a blazer. That will be just fine. You will be dressy enough. I often hear people say, Tracy, it's casual cocktail. What does that mean? Well, I know it can come off confusing, but I actually love to see something like casual cocktail. To me, that means there's a white area, there's a black area, and then there's plenty of gray in between. There's so much you can do if the invitation says casual cocktail. It allows you the freedom to go casual if that is what you are comfortable with, but it allows you the freedom to jazz it up. Some of us actually prefer to really bring it out there. That's just our preference. Others would much rather be more pared down. Nothing wrong with either. When you have casual cocktail on the invite, that gives you the freedom to dress however you would like within the casual to cocktail range. So have fun with it and always portray who you are. On the other hand, if it says formal, there's no casual to it. It's quite obvious, but formal can mean many things. That doesn't mean a ball gown necessarily. That would probably say black tie or white tie or gala. Formal can mean many things. Of course, you can go with your LBD, you still can go with a jumpsuit, and you even could still pull off what I am showcasing in the photo. Hold tight, because when we get to the lookbook, you are going to see plenty of other options. Also, ladies, don't forget that your coat counts. To me, think about what your outerwear is going to be when you are planning your outfit. This really can pull together your entire look. If you don't have a lot of options when it comes to dress your outerwear, a long blazer would be the perfect component. A long blazer looks great over any dress. You can pop the collar to make it more uber chic and jazz it up a little bit more. As I always say, think outside the box. Don't put too much thought in it. Chances are you have something that will work. Let's talk a little bit about accessories. One of my favorite things about dressing for the holiday is to me it is the perfect opportunity to go sparkly, to go blingy, and jazz it up. If your holiday party dress or outfit is one particular color and there's no embellishments up by the neckline, to me, this is when you wanna pull in your beautiful statement earrings, something that really gives a pow to the look. Earrings like these are going to look great whether you have your hair up or down. It really is my favorite piece to add in and you will see all the different ways that I have styled these when we get into the lookbook. If you want to add more pizzazz to your look, I love adding in a statement ring as well, especially in a color that perhaps matches the dress. Bracelets are also a great way to jazz up your outfit. I also feel like necklaces like the one that I am wearing and these two here are also great components for certain looks and that is one of the reasons why I wanted to show you the look that I am wearing today. As you can see, there are many options to zest up your holiday party look. You will also see in the lookbook that adding in some fun holiday party shoes can really jazz things up as well. I love this pair here, same shoe, but in a black velvet. We have another beautiful black velvet option here with pearls and rhinestones. 
You just want to be careful if you wear a shoe with a lot of detail. You don't want a ton of detail everywhere. Just like we talked about not showing the cleavage if you're showing the leg and not showing the leg if you're showing the cleavage, the same applies to adding in all of your jewelry and all your accent pieces. You don't want to do too much. If you're doing the earrings, maybe do more of a simple bracelet and maybe do a statement ring and see how you look if you add something on the feet, but don't do too many pieces. You don't want the eye to have to go everywhere because you have so much going on and you're throwing so much out there. Here is another great pair of show-stopping party shoes, peep toe, super high, little bit of a platform, love these. Going into evening bag, this is when you want to pull out the show stoppers as well, but again, don't do too much. If I was doing extremely blingy shoes, I probably wouldn't go as blingy with my bag. I would go more of a pared down evening bag. Again, pick one thing, but don't pick it all. Here's another beautiful embellished bag. This actually matches the shoes that I shared with you. Now I'm sure you're asking, would I go with both? I would. If I had a simple dress in one statement color, or if I had a black dress that didn't have too much going on, just plain black, maybe with the black dress that I'm showing in the lookbook because it's not bling, it's not embellished, it's more sheer in a couple areas. That's when I may pull in something like this and do the shoes as well, but I would keep the earrings and all of the jewelry a little bit more understated. A black sequin bag is great as well, but you wouldn't want to put this with a dress that's black that has all sorts of sequins on it. If you have a dress that has a lot of embellishment or bling or anything along that line, you aren't going to want to add in the same type of details. Again, that's when you're going to want to scale back and go with something more simple like this Tory Burch evening bag here. Don't hesitate, ladies, to add in a pop of color with your outfit. I love this red velvet one here, perfect for holiday time. There you have it, ladies, how to style your holiday party outfits. All the links will be provided down below of everything that I am wearing, details to every look, all of the accessories, plenty of more options to choose from. I am sharing with you other dresses, all sorts of jewelry and accessories to go with it, also stores to shop for your evening wear and all different price points. So be sure to check that all out on the blog. Last minute reminder, Sephora VIB sale is wrapping up. Don't forget I have a video with my recommendations. If you have not watched that, be sure to check it out. If you have not downloaded your Christmas party planner, be sure to check that video out and get yours today because it's coming. Christmas is coming and we want to plan ahead so that we can celebrate later. Don't forget also to check out my pajama and loungewear video with plenty of options for gift giving and stay tuned next week. Yes, they are coming. The Christmas gift guides, they are on their way. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you've ring the bell so that you get immediate notification when those videos are published. If you found something in this video that you found helpful, give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what you are going to be wearing to your holiday parties this year. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we will see you in the next video. Take care.